giggity, giggity, giggity. Giggity, 850 and a half here on this 24th day of July in the year 2018. And Domini, this is the Den, Ken's Den. I'm here with Billy Bolina from Breakfast with BB on Saturday mornings. Mm-hmm. Uh, you you um, started off uh, playing in polka bands, pol- polka orchestra, uh, very young and, and early. And at some point in time, you, you ended up on the radio. How did that happen? I got a job in 1979 at UMass. All right. Mm-hmm. Maintenance. Okay. I says, okay, here we go, BB. All right. <laughs> Maybe it's time for a book. Actually, before that, when I was in okay. New Bedford, mm-hmm. it was very... Uh, um, <sighs> What the heck? How do I want it? Well, I, I mentioned the polka show that they had one in New Bedford, one in Taunton. So a very good friend of my family's is Stanley Stankowitz. Uh, this was back in when I was in high school. He used to have a couple hours on a, on a Sunday it's when they had these Polish programs. He would do mm-hmm. most of the announcing in Polish. All right. Now most of the stuff's in English. But that's so be it. Mm-hmm. I used to go in not every show, but when I... F- yeah, I think I'll go down the station and see him. Mm-hmm. And we talked. He showed me what new recordings he got and all of this. So this, this is leading up to this MUA deal. Right. So I went to the radio station. Actually, I went to FCR first. <laughs> <laughs> How did that work out for oh, you? <laughs> very wonderful. I don't, know, <clears throat> I don't know why I went there, but uh, I talked to the lady there. I said, hey, how about a polka show? And we got into that for about 10 seconds. <laughs> and she says, no, not interested. Didn't give me too much of a, you know, mm-hmm. to speak my piece or anything. Now, now, now when she said not interested, did, did she do it in the NPR, uh, FCR type of way? Okay, Mr. Bolina. Well, I could. And, well, and, and I'm going to be very yeah, calm and, yeah, and, yeah. and subtle when I, when I tell you yeah, that. Yeah, well, we, like, we have no interest in any polka music here at 88.5. Well, no, she was right in front of my nose. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, she says, well, why do you want one on here? We have enough of polka shows in the area. Mm-hmm. I says, yes, correct. Right. And thank God for that. Mm-hmm. I says, well, look at you guys don't have one. Well, we really don't want one. Why don't you go to MUA over there, the student place? They put anything on. <laughs> Quote, unquote. Right. I did. Yeah, this sounds like SKB. They'll put anyone on. I'm here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I do get it. <laughs> this is true. I do get on. I, I absolutely get that. And you're still here, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, so go to MUA, right? Well, yeah. you know how that operated. Mm-hmm. So there was a young kid running. I think it was a station man, Jimmy Spellis. Very nice kid. Very nice. I says, hey, I got an idea for you guys. I was at FCR, and uh, they gave me about 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. Sent me to you. Right. What do you want to play? I told him. I says, let me explain something first. This isn't going to be Lawrence Welk and, and that kind of style of <laughs> mm-hmm. with the big tube, <laughs> with the tubas and all this other kind of stuff. All right. I says, uh, can you give me anything? He says, uh, well, you know, our Fridays and the weekends are kind of like at this point. He says, well, I'll tell you what. He says, I've got an opening Wednesday morning at 11 o'clock. I says, oh, that's <sighs> wonderful. I'm working on campus. I can't very well work and do a show. He says, come in the night before and record it. I says, well, here we go. History is being oh, made. Boy. That's it. <laughs> and so we worked it out. Gave me the big reel-to-reel deal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Put on the machine off. I went, and incidentally, my first, my first guest on that very same show was Jackie LaBera. Uh-huh. That's also a Hall of Famer, and he was in Heavy, uh, Heavy Chicago and Base Day with me. Oh, wow. And we were both on uh-huh. Todd's show the other day. <laughs> uh, so, Todd, Todd uh, be, being... Uh, Zaganets. Uh, and that's a current show right now on HMP AM. This is right. Yeah. With his mom, Sandy. Mm-hmm. Four hours Sunday morning. Right. Yeah. He, he, Todd is actually uh, the engineer that I use in order to get your sh- streaming show onto WSKB. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so before I get into uh, the jammer, um, so 1979, it kind of all started for uh, the 
uh, Polka Bandstand show. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, w- when did you actually end up on Saturday mornings? When I was doing that, oh, I, I'm trying to guess this one out. Maybe approximate year on that 11 o'clock. Oh, the station's getting loads of calls. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, we love it. You know how it just mm-hmm. catches on. Yeah. He says, hmm, I think we're going to have to do some here and give you more time here. Mm-hmm. I says, why? He says, the phone, <laughs> phone lines are just overloaded. We can't go, well, give the guy more hours or something like this. Mm-hmm. He says, well, I'll give you a choice. Friday night. Right. For three hours, or Saturday morning for four. Okay. So I'm saying, hmm, let me see which one am I going to choose here. What's a smart move? I talked mm-hmm. to some people. Mm-hmm. They says, well, Saturdays are always popular for poker shows. Mm-hmm. Fridays, too, somewhat, in different locations. Right. Friday, uh, Saturdays and Sundays, I says, give me that Saturday morning. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. And, and that was it. Right. So approximately 1980. <clears throat> About 1980, and then right after that, 1980, I ran, I believe it was the first MUA Polkathon fundraiser. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I raised, I think, I, w- I think that first year I came in with about $2,600, and they went bananas. That was, like, oh, that, my that was, God. That wasn't, that, that wasn't bad for a first-time fundraiser in, Excuse me. <clears throat> in, in, in 1980 just, or so. It, well, for, well, polka music, too, yeah. you're talking. Yeah. So I had five or six popular DJ, DJs mm-hmm. from the locale, right? And also Jackie's dad, Johnny Libero, which was from Southbridge, had a radio, mm-hmm. a Sunday yeah. program. Do I remember coming? They into all that? came in. You remember that stuff? Do, do you remember? Do I remember going to that studio and Sandy being there at some point too? <sighs> Todd's mom. Uh, maybe which it was a di- maybe it was a different Sandy. Oh, I would have to think back. All right. <laughs> well, that's, we have a that's a long time back, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but that's but the yeah, basics. Yeah, I, re- I remember stopping up. You, you, you get into the parking garage over at the campus center or over at uh, UMass, and, and you go through uh, one or two doors, and bingo, you're, yeah. you're there at the studio. That, that, was a, that studio was a lot easier to get to than this one. Well, don't forget, don't forget <laughs> that. Well, yeah, but when I first started in 79, we were in the engineering building. Oh, really? <laughs> the engineering building in there uh-huh. where you could, uh, well, uh, you know, these colleges have, you got to walk half a mile to get to where you're going to go. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And for parking lots, like you can't yep. have, you mm-hmm. can't have 28 spots right in front of the building to make it easy. Exactly. Know? But I'm just, yeah. so, and that's where it was. Engineering building was right off the main drag, and you had to go through a few buildings, like over here. Mm-hmm. That was it, and you carried lugged in two boxes of mm-hmm. records uh-huh. at that time. Yep, absolutely. They were heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was a mobile DJ back then, you too. You, you didn't. Oh yeah. Yeah, um, mid through late eighties, m- through mid nineties, I was all I was vinyl. There you go. And, and you didn't pay me to do the work; you paid me to move all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, you, well, you know, I agree. You, you had separate amplifiers and separate speakers, and oh, yeah. I mean, it it, it, it it took hours just just to move and set that stuff up back then. Well, um, then they decided after I, I don't remember how many years they, they were in the engineering building, but then they ended up, they had to move the station because the professors wanted more space. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. All right, yep. continue. We know all that happens. Yeah, you, will, you know the story there. Yeah. <laughs> they ended up getting stuck in a dormitory. On about a level, level of one of the dormitories in there, you needed a key to get in. <laughs> Uh, what a nuisance. What a yeah. nuisance that uh-huh. was. Then somebody decided, okay, let's go to Campus Center, which was right across from the Collegian paper. Mm-hmm. If you can remember that. Yep, right. That's where they are now, uh-huh. I guess. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't, haven't been back. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm thinking that's 80, 90, 2000, 2010. So that's 90, 2000, 2010. Oh, 38 years, 39. Thir- yeah. Almost 40. Almost now. 40 years on the air playing polka music. Well, not considering, the, not counting a jammer now. Right, right. And right. on and on it goes. And the jammer's been four years or five years now? At least. Okay. For me? Yeah. 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 Uh, if, uh, MUA ended in, what, 2011, Ooh, 2012? Yeah, somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. Yeah. Yeah. But so so, so you're, you're still over the 30-year mark of, of doing... Live broadcast in a studio every Saturday. Oh, morning. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And it, then, then then Todd decided, well, 
you know, I got to be on the air. Mm -hmm. Here comes the jammer. 8.30 to noontime. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, what and, more can I say? And, and, and you know, I, I love it when I have somebody coming in here who sits down in front of that uh, Electro voice. And they're, oh, yeah. and they're completely comfortable with, with being on live air yeah. and, 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 oh, and just cool. talking uh, into a microphone. Uh, 9 o'clock WSKB 89.5 FM Westfield. Billy, uh, I'm looking at uh, the, this uh, Emily uh, on this Emily uh, on. Uh, artwork here. Uh, what only, are we going into? She's uh, That's the only one she's got out so far. This is a young kid from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Mm -hmm. And uh, her mom, uh, Debbie... Uh, used to sing, well, she'd go to different festivals and all of that stuff, and she sang with different bands up there once in a while and uh, did a recording with Jimmy Weber and the Sounds. I play him all the time on the show. Uh -huh. And uh, it was recorded live up at an old place, Feeders Grove in Mount Pleasant, Pennsylvania. She did Never Ending Love. And incidentally, on this particular... Act, you know what? You know which machine that's in. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Not that I've, yes. Can you move it to three? Ask okay. and you shall receive. <laughs> and, and they recut well, this. They recut this tune that her mom sang live with the uh, with the sounds. Okay. Never ending love. All right. And Emily, who is now, I believe, I, I'm not sure. She could be around 17, 18. She was young in this one. About right, she eleven. Looked, she looks about young. eleven or so. Yeah. Uh, her and her mom, uh, Debbie, are singing this. So here she goes from her CD, uh, Polka's on My Mind, Never Ending Love, Emily and Mom, Debbie. Support for the community programming of WSKB is provided by Bay State Dental. Comprehensive dentistry at 14 convenient locations in Springfield, Chicopee, Longmeadow, West Springfield, Belchertown, East Longmeadow, Ludlow, Northampton, Greenfield, and Wilbraham, as well as 29 Broad Street in Westfield. Bay State Dental makes it a priority to help you achieve and maintain the healthy smile you deserve. On the web at baystatedental.com. We thank the generosity of our underwriters. For more information, please contact the Westfield State Foundation at 
8646. Wednesday mornings from 6 till 8, it's Tina Gorman with Wake Up Wednesday. Community Radio, 89.5 WSKB. Live from the campus of Westfield State University, this is 89.5 FM, WSKB, Westfield. Sometimes a family wants that Italian taste without those tiny Italian portions. That's why you should come to Al Dente's. All the mamma mia you can eat. It's Italian food just like you'll never get in Italy. That's because it's an American team restaurant. So the portions are huge and the food tasteless and unhealthy. My old man grew up in Naples. So when he comes to visit me in the U.S., I take him someplace unique, reasonably priced, and at the closest strip mall. I take him to Al Dente's. Al Dente's has hamburger toys. Tortellini, rotini with spray cheese, eh? Vienna sausages and pan, eh? And a special linguine with cheesy poof sauce. Hey, when you're at Al Dente's, everyone's like family. A hyper macho, food obsessed, alcoholic family just like mine. Al Dente's, we got more of what you love and less of what you don't. Like more calories and fat and a lot less taste and nutrients. That's why it's Al Dente's. All the mama mia you can eat. WSKB 89.5 FM brought to you by Mama Mia's. I'm sorry I didn't have any any commercials for any Polish food. I had a I had to pull that one out of my butt. No, no, no. Jennifer was talking about it. Oh, okay. Was she? Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Earlier in the first hour. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. You I, perked right up when she started talking about the Golumpkin pirogi. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what yeah. I meant. Yeah. Well, the, you know, no. the, the sad was for al dente's. Oh, okay. Yeah, was, but that's all right, too. All right. It's still food, Kenny. All right. right. <laughs> it's still food. <laughs> I said that, right? Oh, my gosh. I'm not going to remind you, though. Mm-hmm. No. So, so you, we went from Emmy Way to the Jammer. Uh, tell me what the... Now, I know what it is. Tell our listeners what the Polka Jammer Network is. Uh, I think we've been running about 14, 15 years now. A fellow out of uh, Connecticut, Jack Bashevsky. Mm-hmm. Actually, he's doing a show once again on <laughs> FM. He's out of Hartford. I forgot the university. Hartford University or something or other. Uh-huh. But he's on a Saturday morning also. Uh, he had this brainstorm. Geez, I mean, I'd like to try something different. Maybe since all this automation, streaming, sound, and whatever, with all this new electronic stuff coming in, to do a, uh, to do a poker show. Streaming on the internet. Uh huh. And he got a few guys together with him. There's a Jimmy uh, from Chicago who actually did the programming, a lot of the programming, and helped him out uh, in the beginning. And I think J- I remember Jack telling me his first broadcast, Kenny, I think he had eight listeners or something. <laughs> right. But well, then. Well, that, that's all I have actually right is, now. Is that right? Yeah. I may have nine. That's good. That's yeah, nine. May have moved up to nine. You might hit yeah. ten. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Only because you're here. Well, okay. <laughs> Thank you anyway. Right. But anyhow, that's how that started with the jammer. Like, mm-hmm. and then that started taking off word of mouth to this one, this one, this mm-hmm. one, this one. Now you're hearing. Now you're hearing his show from his house, all over the world. Right. And this is. It's it's fantastic. This stuff. And your show comes from your house. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. And, and and when exactly is that? I know we have the eight thirty to noon. Eight thirty to here noon here on WSKB. Same thing. All right. It, so it's eight thirty to noon on the Jammer as well. It's yes. The, it's the same show. Yeah. What, yes. What, what what's on the Jammer is what's here on WSKB. Yes. A- and you you have something else during the week, don't you? Oh, Wednesday night. Okay. Eight to ten polka vinyl show. All right. Where it's mostly I do play the new CDs here and there. Uh huh. Mostly the records like we were talking about before. Uh huh. Right. Oh, I got to, oh, you can't get rid of the record. <laughs> no way. <laughs> so, so you actually have a phonograph set up there and you're coming off two, of vinyl? Uh, two turntables. All right. Two turntables and a microphone. You ever hear that expression? <laughs> you gotta, there you go. That's Billy Bolina. You gotta know how to use that microphone, Kenny, <laughs> two, right? Two, two turntables and a microphone. Well, that's right. Are, are, are we talking? Well, it's a C- double CD machine, too, though. I okay. mean, you know what I mean. Are, are we talking Technic 1200 turntables? Did you go with the real deal? I could have, but I went with the new marks. Oh, okay, the new marks. Okay. But but with professional Stanton 
cartridges and styluses. Okay. To give it that <laughs> beefed up FM sound. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. you, you got you I got, got the, you I got get the professional you got a stuff. decent pair of turntables. Oh, there, sure. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. I, I got nice. my I got my start with um, I think they were new marks. You know, they, yeah, they, they they weren't uh, they weren't uh, Technic twelve hundreds because those suckers were five hundred and fifty bucks a piece. <laughs> and then you're talking another hundred bucks just for the cartridge. <laughs> oh, easy. Yeah, but they play seventy eights too. Yes, yes. Yeah, if you That's why I went with the new marks, marks too. Yeah, I actually have it. It's in the closet over here. Uh, for a while, it was sitting over here. We uh, it was a 1200 knockoff. It's uh, Audio Technica I know. Uh, 120. SL, I know which SL one exactly. Uh, and it, you know it works just like a 1200, and it does the 78s. And Speed it, control. And, the whole and it has a line out on the back instead oh, of just yeah. the phono. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful turntable actually. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So that, that that's awesome that you, that you're coming off of vinyl on on, on Wednesday nights. Yeah, I had the yeah, well when I went on a jammer on that thing, I was I'm thinking to myself, okay, well there's a lot of jammer shows cropping up. What am I gonna do now? Mm -hmm. And since I'm loaded up with vinyl at home, albums, etc., forty fives, eh, poke a vinyl show with Billy Bolina. You, you know when I uh, when I was doing mobile DJ work. Uh, before I got into live bands and before karaoke, I, you know, I did all that crap. Uh, but, you know, the local, the, the mobile DJ part, I needed polka music. Uh, because I, I I'd actually, I, I, the weddings I played were, were largely po Polish people. Yep. Uh, so, you know, back then you go to Record Town or you go to Strawberries or whatever. Oh, yeah. And, and, and you, it, uh, damn hard to find polka music. So I befriended. Larry Chesky over in Hoyoke <laughs> uh, when, when he was running uh, Modern Mail International. Yep. And he let me up into the attic. Upstairs. Upstairs where all the vinyl was. In the was. warehouse. And, 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 he, and he was like, you know what, Kenny, just, just go through the albums and, and find what you need. And, and, and I, I found all the standard stuff, everything I would ever need. And he even had a copy uh, of the Computer Ovetic by Pan Youssef, I, by, jo by Joe Oberida. That's right, and I know yeah. exactly where they were stashed. Uh -huh. <laughs> Down the bottom row of one of the bins of his. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I almost lived there three times a week. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 must have, I, I spent several hours up, up in Larry Chesky's attic you, over there. You too, huh? Oh, yeah. Very nice, and Papa Joe, mm -hmm. yeah, shrink wrapping the <laughs> albums when they came in with the covers. Uh, you know, those days, were, weren't they terrific? Yeah, it, and, and you know he had the complete mail order too with all the other modern parts. mail, yeah, modern okay, mail, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I, I saw all types of crazy stuff over there. T-shirts, yeah. knickknacks. I mean, yeah. novelties. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, you name it, it was coming through there. Yeah, um, terrific. Yeah, but you know, speaking of Larry Chuff, he, he he actually had a polka band locally around here too. Very popular. Yeah, and, and it was just Larry Chuffy Orchestra, wasn't it? Right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, well, he recorded way back, I think, uh, when, 50s? Maybe 50s? I think he started a musical label out of New York for when the 78s were being pressed. And uh -huh. so so he's, he, he recorded a lot of music, too. He yeah. had a lot of bands record for him, too. Right, yeah. Him as yeah. well as uh, Joe he, he, had his own, he had his own label that, that yes. he would put other bands on, yes, too. Yes, exactly. Yeah. How, how, long, which, how, which, long, how long ago did we lose him? Oh, Jeez. boy. Is, is, is I'm it, not good on this. Has it been maybe close to 20 years? Mm, I don't know if it's mm. 20 yet, but yeah. it's... Cause maybe I, I'm I, guessing in a 15 zone. I don't know. I, I, I remember the uh, Polish-American Cafe was, was still a building and still existed over in Hadley. Um, uh what when that happened and i i just i i, the I myself Polish american cafe well that was eddie foreman's dad that one yeah eddie that's foreman's the one you're dad. thinking about yeah right on room nine yeah actually uh i would that that was one of my hangouts uh you you, you think you know 20 something you know th and 30 something oh, you hit all kid. the joints uh, you know he'd be hanging out downtown northampton no oh, no I, yeah. I i drove over the bridge from northampton when i was living up there and I went to Wally and Jones, mm -hmm. Polish American Cafe. There you go. And I, 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 I was a fixture there for years and years and years. And, 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 and Wally and Jones' daughter, Chris, it, 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 just recently, every now and then around the holidays, would bring uh, uh, seven years. Uh, would bring uh, 
uh, like a lumpier pierogi to me uh, at, at the holiday time. <laughs> uh, so, and, and, and they were cooked just like uh, Jones. Uh, you know, so it's homemade. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. Awesome. But, yeah, and, you know, you, uh, speaking of their homemade food, you know, Saturday mornings, all right, they, they, every other week uh, would be pierogi. And then the opposite weeks would be galumki over there. Uh, so you'd go in Saturday mornings. For, for true traditional homemade Polish food. And guess who was playing on the radio down there? I wonder who. I think Mr. Billy Bolina was uh, playing on the radio a- at the Polish American Cafe in Hadley where this Polak used to hang out. Well, you know which spots to go to, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the food again. I mean, that, yeah, that, that, that was uh, you know, a... a the whole Foreman family were, 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 were great to hang around yep. with up there, and, and it was just so nice and so kind. Well, Eddie, another Hall and of, of course, Fame. It, it, another it, it, Hall of Fame. Is Eddie in the Hall of Fame, too? Yep. All right, uh, speaking of Hall of Fame, I don't... It was, oh, Larry, Larry, so is Larry. Uh, did, seven years ago, okay, Todd said he passed wow, away. Wow, seven years seven, ago. Seven, yeah. All right, Larry, yeah. Larry Chesky, another Polka Hall of Fame. Yeah, another one, right. Mm-hmm. Yep, you got it. Yeah, I want to talk about the Hall of Fame, I think, uh, coming up on the other side of this break. Uh, 9, 16 and a half. Uh, we are going in to that right now. So tell me what we have coming up. Uh, Okay, this was released uh, at Ocean Beach where we broadcasted and my Saturday show was over here. Is that when I gave you SKB, remember? Is that when I gave you hell uh, with a a text message because you were complaining about it being cold? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And what did you say to me? Can you say it on the air? Yeah, I I, I said if if you want to make sure it's nice and warm, go to effing Florida. (laughs) (laughs) You got away with words, Kenny, my man. (laughs) But yeah, I remember Uh, it was rain and cold and and, 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 it was rain. It just day. started to get a little nicer when the band picked up, right? Yeah, yeah. But that was on SQ. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Had that part of the show on. This is, uh, okay, this is their brand new one, but it was recorded last year at United States Polka Association Convention in uh, Cleveland. Polka Country Musicians. This is live. Brand new. Here's a tune. I think it's a Buck Owens tune, if I'm not mistaken, Call It's all right. Together, we played in the weather, whether it be rain or snow. Later in the evenings, when mom would call me, she would hear me say before I'd go, If it's all right, I'll come back tomorrow and bring you a ribbon for your hair. If it's all right, I'll come back tomorrow. Went to school together, she wore my high school sweater, I carried her books every day. Later in the evenings, on the phone I'd call her, and once again to her these words I'd say, if it's all right, I'll call you tomorrow, and maybe to the movies we can go, if it's all right, I'll call you tomorrow. Cause I love you and I want you to know Now we're so happy And now I'm called Pappy Yes, I have a son of my own words I heard him say to his little girlfriend on the phone. If it's all right, I'll call you tomorrow. And maybe to the movies we can go. If it's all right, I'll call you tomorrow. Cause I love you and I want you to know.
Orange Beach Travel Recording. We thank you. This is one called If It's All Right. Support for the community Any bruise cruisers out there? Is provided by the Dunkin' Donut Shops of Westfield and the Sardinia family. It's nice to know that even as the world changes, Dunkin' Coffee remains the same at seven convenient locations throughout Westfield. Underwriting for community radio is provided by the YMCA of Greater Westfield. Every day the YMCA strengthens the community through programs and services focused on youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. For all the WISE many programs and services, visit us on the web at www.westfieldymca.org. The YMCA, 67 Court Street in downtown Westfield. We're more than a gym. We're a cause. We thank the generosity of our underwriters. For more information, please contact the Westfield State Foundation at 413-572-8646. Wednesday mornings start off right from 6 to 8 a.m. with Tina Gorman and Wake Up Wednesday. Community Radio 89.5 WSKB. Live from the campus of Westfield State University, this is 89.5 FM WSKB Westfield. 922 on the nose here on this 24th day of July in the year 2018. Anno Domini. This is the Den, Ken's Den. Ken Stomsky and Polka Hall of Famer from Saturday morning here in WSKB, Billy Bolina. Uh, Billy, I did just mention Polka Hall of Fame. Yes. Yes. T tell me about that. Uh, it started way back in, I believe, the late 60s. And, 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 and where is it? It's in Chicago. Chicago. Okay, that makes sense. And, uh, <laughs> well, they... About six or seven of the folks, uh, popular band leaders and disc jockeys, got together and says, well, let's, why don't we do something for some of these musicians that have promoted the polka music their whole life, or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And I believe the first, it, I think 68 or 69, the first two that were inducted into the Hall of Fame were Frankie Yankovic and Little Wally. Frankie Yankovic, Yankovic being yeah. on Columbia being right way. Al Yankovic's father or no, grandfather. No, no relation. No relationship. No. Come on. No. You know, that, you know that's an urban legend, Billy. This is true. It, but they're not. So it's true that it's an urban legend, but I they're was really, told they're not. You were not. told they're not. I don't think they are. All right. You know, if any of my uh, listeners want to Google that for me and, and send me a text to clear that up. Uh, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, really. Yeah, because yeah. well, I was I was told that way back, but yeah. that's why I just threw it in there. All right. So anyway, so that, <laughs> hey, you know it doesn't matter anyways. Yeah. True. Let's get back to the Hall of Fame. Okay. All right. So that's how it started in Chicago with the, and doing that, and then they de decided uh, to have a nice big banquet, mm -hmm. watch presentations, and then well, why don't we go with okay? How about how about getting electors from certain areas? You know, you're going to have your trustees, and then you got your electors, a certain amount of them from different areas in the United States. They would vote on best best single recording, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. best, uh, well, in those days, albums, but CDs right. now, whatever. Mm -hmm. best I, you know, I, I think they still refer to it as an album. Uh, some some people yep. do, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, be, uh, best uh, female vocalist, male vocalist, instrumental band. Mm -hmm. That's the idea of it, uh -huh. and that's coming up. It used to be first week in August, and a lot a lot of it ran in Cle in uh, Chicago and Milwaukee territory. Mm -hmm. Then they moved over to Ohio, more of a centralized. Now it's in Buffalo for about the last four years. That's at uh -huh. Millennium over Labor Day weekend. Mm -hmm. Same thing's going to happen. All the awards and everything. We're going to play a tune in a while by uh, by this group. Uh -huh. Three people. You're talking about Base Day 4. Right. That's going to be interesting. Well, you know, the, Molly, the, 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 well, we got Mike Costa first, but then Molly B, because she is going to be inducted this Labor Day. Oh, okay. All right, and so, she's got her own national TV show. Mm -hmm. So, so, so you, 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 you kind of mentioned how it's moved around and around. Is that just a ceremony or does everything No, no, no band's playing. Okay. Oh, band's playing. For, right. uh, so, so there's uh, actually a physical place they can go to in Chicago? It's called the. Oh, Hall you're of talking Fame? about the Hall of Fame yeah. bu uh, building? It's in. Uh, it's on the top floor, I believe, of uh, Polonia mm. Banquets. And Polonia Grove used to be an old place way back in the '60s. 
that uh, they had polka bands play every Sunday, like your normal picnics. Uh-huh. They would play out there and tons and tons of people right with the bands okay all right so there's a physical place that you have find yeah, you can in go Chicago. up there and see all of the uh, awards the plaques hanging on the wall uh-huh. uh records i mean all kind of signed memorabilia uh outfits that some of the popular polka stars wore and all that it's really uh-huh. cool Awesome. Yeah, nice. Awesome. Nice. So, so coming up at the next break, uh, we'll be hearing from the latest inductee uh, into the oh, Pokemon. Well, she'll thing. be going in in, yeah. All right. Labor Day. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, of course, 10 seconds ago, it was just on, on, on the front of my head to, uh, to go down to my tongue and come out of my mouth. Now it's in the back of the head. Yeah, what was it? Somewhere. You know, you know th- 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 that's what sucks with age, Billy. I, I, I mean, there, there's something I want to talk about, but I didn't want to screw the topic up too much. And, and it looks like I, I, I just might have. But, you know, I, I'll move on. Okay, I remember what it was now. Oh. <laughs> was it good or bad, though? Good or bad? You, you mentioned the picnics. Uh, I remember a lot of picnics around the area. Uh, Polish bands playing on, on oh, yeah. Sunday uh, yeah. w- when I was in my teens and late 20s. And... And I don't know if I'm just not following it or if they're just not out and about as often. Um, I just don't see it or, or hear of it happening in this area uh, anymore. There used to be, uh, you know, every Sunday over in Southampton you know, at Podolski, you know, people would be playing or, or whatnot. Hamden Ponds. Yeah. It, it, they still th- got them. Does this still happen? Pulaski Park every Sunday in Three Rivers. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sure. All right. Church church affairs. Mm-hmm. Church picnics. Uh-huh. They're all over the place here. Okay, sure. All right, I, yeah. I want to make sure that's still a thing because I oh d- it, with it, the poo you're talking about food. Yeah, well they get real McCoy right there. Yeah. The ladies still mm-hmm. make you know the gumpy pierogi and kielbasa yeah. whatever they home you know, make. When I, when I was like 18, 19 years old, I I dr- I drive to these places. Yeah, and, and, and go to these. Oh sure. Yeah, ni- nineteen year old kid going to these Polish it's picnic right. parties. So what? It was, it was awesome. I know. <laughs> and this is what a lot of, well, like we always talk about, you know, you got, well, don't forget, you had the big kielbasa festival for one thing over here and mm-hmm. uh, in Chicopee. And it's in, in West Side now, but it's not just kielbasa. And they no, don't, it's and, not, and, and they don't really have any polka bands there because it's too yeah, expensive to bring them in. It's nothing like, it, it, I mean, 10,000. It's, expen- it's expensive to bring in a polka orchestra. Yeah, but 10,000 people at Fairfield Mall. Yeah. I mean, figure. <laughs> but those were well, those were the good days, though. Right. Like, we keep going back. Uh-huh. S- late 60s, 70s. Now, your phone's talking to you. Yeah, my phone is talking to me. Um, and but they do have them. Not, not telling me anything important. Uh, but the church is still... Oh, actually, it, that, that, every summer... That was our guest that we had in the first... Uh, our Jennifer. Oh, uh, so she's just thanking us once again for having us on. So if you're still listening, oh, Jennifer. Yeah. Hi to you. Yeah. Uh, um, nice meeting you. See how much fun you're missing out on here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but what did she say back to you? <laughs> she just thanks us. Thanks I know. Us. I know. Yeah, and you know, it's a formality. You know, if if you don't thank Kenny for coming onto the show, then you never get back on the oh, show again. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. That, that's thank a, you for having me. That, that, that's like, <laughs> that, that's a little known thing going on here yeah. in Westfield. Okay. Oh my. So, uh, well, this is community radio, though. It's WSKB FM. And you know what? You you said that without messing it up, too. Wait a minute. No, that isn't a legitimate ID. It's WSKB Westfield, Massachusetts. If you want to go that far. Well, that's what I was told when I started in real radio. Uh huh. You know, call letters in a town or city or whatever. Yeah, let's see it. Right? What is the legal ID I need to say? I need to say. Well, how at do you top do of the, At the top of the hour, yes. I have to go WSKB 89.5 FM Westfield. Now, see, I thought it was the call letters, then the town. Yeah. Now, but when as, I, long, when you, as long as you get them all in, that, then you satisfy the FCC requirements. That, but my question to you, I, I don't have an answer for this, is when, when you come out with, all right, well, let's use this, WSKB Westfield. Right. Well, somebody in California says, where's Westfield? Mm-hmm. Why don't they say the state? Yeah. I, mandatory on I, the ID. I, you know, I've never heard the state. Did you ever think of that? I've never heard the state um, be, be a requirement on, on, on the station ID or anything legal. Well, isn't it, though? I mean, wouldn't it be nice? Yeah. I, 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 I believe. It would help. So long as you have the call sign and the city, 
the, that's all the SEC needs to track you down because there's only going to be one WSKB oh, I and, know what and, you mean. and one Westfield. But I mean the normal listener listening. Mm-hmm. Never mind the FCC. Yeah. I'm just... Yeah. Yeah, right? That, Doesn't make sense or no? Yeah. Yeah. How, how do you think you would do on the radio if you were on the other side of the Mississippi? I don't think I could ever get used to saying uh, K. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, K. yeah wh- wh- when I go out to the West Coast, uh, I'm constantly hearing K... K L A and K T L I and that, it it doesn't even roll off my tongue. I I can't do it. I know what you're saying. Yeah, uh, and you know uh, the uh, Connecticut School of Broadcasting. One of the first things they covered, and, and I didn't actually go through it, but I have friends who went through it. The first thing they covered was how to say W, and it's not W, it's W, mm-hmm. and, and and you have it too. It's it, it's in your head. It's in there. Yeah. What when, when you say W S K B, it's W. It's W S K B. Yeah, well, you could emphasize it. Yeah, yeah well, and, and, and we could really emphasize it, like the DJ from the 70s and 80s, like what, when Howard Stern did on that on that movie. Um, uh, Private Parts was the movie. Yeah, Howard how Stern come was it there? I and, 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 and it was WABC out of New York, and, 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 and they're, they're trying to piss them off enough to quit, so they're telling them how to say the call sign. Oh. And, and it was like, W-A-B-C. And... Yeah. and, and, and yeah. uh, I don't think I'd ever get to the point where I'm like W K C H, you know, or uh, W A Q. You know, I I can't do it. Well, I just I brought that it. up as a question because yeah, I was I, I always thought of that. You know what 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 state is it? Yeah, in, and, and, and and you know I, I I can do a proper post too. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it, it it takes a it takes some concentration to post properly, and sometimes sure. I blow it. But uh, Pete and I will do a, a top 100 countdown on New Year's Eve. And, and then for, for most of the night, he, he and I go back and forth tr- trying to post to, to every song to see oh. who can get closer. <laughs> oh, it, I know what you mean. It, it's a sickness. Once you get the radio bug, I mean, you just do stupid things like that. Yeah, you're right. I agree with you, huh? Yeah. 8.32 going on to 8.33 in the morning. I'm three minutes past my break. I believe we are playing track... Which one do you want me to do? I have track four on one, and I have track 13 on another. Uh, because I don't have both sleeves you up got here. My, you got my class to coming up, number four. High Lonesome? Number four? Number four, High Lonesome. How All about right. it? Let, let's this is his out. latest recording, brand new Mike Costa, longtime musician, too. Yeah, he's, if you look at his picture, on, he's still young, though. <laughs> And, and, uh, and now that I think about it, you just handed me the, the, the uh, disc for uh, uh, my, my second transport. So, yes, we are definitely going into Costa. Okay, Costa played with a lot of well-known bands like New Brass. He played with Jan Simon's Musical Airs from Jersey. He had his own ba- Well, he played with Magic Tones also from uh, New York Territory. Mm-hmm. Then he had a band called um, oh, Mike Costa's Limelight. Okay. Now this is his current band again, The Beat. This is his new recording. I think this is a country tune from someplace, too. He calls this one High Lonesome.
Support for the community programming of WSKB is provided by Bay State Dental. Comprehensive dentistry at 14 convenient locations in Springfield, Chicopee, Longmeadow, West Springfield, Belchertown, East Longmeadow, Ludlow, Northampton, Greenfield, and Wilbraham, as well as 29 Broad Street in Westfield. Bay State Dental makes it a priority to help you achieve and maintain the healthy smile you deserve. On the web at baystatedental.com. We thank the generosity of our underwriters. For more information, please contact the Westfield State Foundation at 413-572-8646. It's Tuesday morning from 6 to 8. Wow, it's Tuesday with Bob Plass. Community Radio 89.5 WSKB. Live from the campus of Westfield State University, this is 89.5 FM, WSKB, Westfield. 9.38 here on Ken's Den. This is Ken Stomsky. I have Polka Hall of Famer Billy Bolina in the studio. Now, Billy, one thing that I do with every new person into the studio is I play a little game. Okay. And if you had a monitor on, you'd you'd hear I have something going on in the background. But that's not important. But, you know, it'll help you. It'll get you into the mood. All right? So I play a little game called Ken's 10. Ken's 10 is a list of rapid-fire questions I send off in your direction. There are no right or wrong answers. It's just strictly your own humble opinion. But you can't sit there and think about it. You have to give me an answer right away. So Ken's 10 with Billy Bolina. Number one, mustard or ketchup? Mustard. It has to be mustard. Number two, water. Bottled or tap? Bottle. Simpsons or Family Guy? (laughs) Homer. (laughs) Okay, Simpsons. This is going to be tough. Number four, New York or Boston? It's a tough one. Boston. Boston. Ken Stone with Billy Bellina. Number five, DVR. Or a live television? Live TV. Yeah, you're of that age. Mm -hmm. Number six. That's another tough one. Ralph Cramden or Buford T. Justice? (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, my God. I got to go with Gleason. Well, they're both Gleason. I know, but on that... uh, uh, What's the show? What's the movies? Uh, The movies is Buford T. Justice, the cop. That's what I mean. Yeah, okay. All right, so you're Buford. Buford, all right. All right. Buford. The, the, this main road, downtown Westfield here, 10 and 202. Route or route? <laughs> route. Number eight. Could be another tough one. Munsters or Adams Family? <laughs> Adams Family. <laughs> <laughs> Pool. Or hot tub? Pool. And number 10, Ken's 10 with Billy Bellina. Smooth. Or chunky? Smooth. Smooth. And that's Ken's 10 with Ken Stumpsy and Billy Bellina. Thanks for playing along, Billy. I, I, I put everyone through that. Really? You don't have anything to say about that, do no, you? No, no, no. What I, well, that was, I was thinking because you got me mixed up with the Gleason thing. That was smoking the Bandit, right? Smoking the yeah, Bandit. Yeah, that's what I was going to try to say. All right. It didn't come out. Yeah, well, that's like you had something happened. behind your head there before. Remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, and then I'll, you know, now and then if you're lucky, the light bulb goes off, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. All right, where are we going here? All right. Thank you fun. very much, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Thank All right, you. thanks for playing along. Yes. All right, um, so... Uh, yeah. Polka Hall of Fame is in Chicago, um, and I notice several regions constantly being mentioned uh, uh, on your show and other various shows on uh, Polka Jammer, and it seems that there are certain areas where, 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 where Polka is, is more prominent than others, Chicago being one, Buffalo, uh, am I right with Philadelphia? Uh, yeah, the Jersey... <laughs> Metropolitan New York, there they still have a f- some bands around there playing. Which that territory mm-hmm. way back was real heavy duty and polkas and everything, like everything in the sixties, fifties. Uh-huh. Right. You know, yeah, yeah. 
other than the West Coast, which maybe has a couple of polka bands, but when you start going Midwest and out towards the West, mm-hmm. out towards Minnesota, they still have the old old style, old time bands. You know, with right. the uh, you know with the uh, bass bass tuba in there and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, in general. I don't know. You still got the different nationality festivals going on. You got the German, Bavarian, Polish, mm-hmm. Italian, mm-hmm. Slovak, mm-hmm. Croatian. Right. You got them. Yeah. Um, n- now you're talking about like something old fashioned. Uh, are we talking like like honky? Uh, oh, that style of music. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I got into. Well, I don't know if I do or not. Yeah, well, well you know, let, it, let, it, let's it, explain it, it because I I, I know people. I, I know it's mentioned uh, on, on the jammer now and then, and, and it's certainly not a, a derogatory term. Uh, so yeah, let, let, I know. Yeah, yeah, let's explain what honky polka I is. I don't even know who came up with that term. Hmm. I really don't. Uh-huh. I, I, I was told that a long time. But it's, it's, it's a certain style of, style of polka music right. where it's, it's more like just, well, look it. Let me put it this way. It's like uh, Polish bluegrass mm-hmm. style. Right. That's okay. as close as I can maybe mm-hmm. so, so, come so, up with it. So it's a genre, a, a subgenre, like no it, accordion like, pushing, like, none like, of that stuff. Like 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 you have your your polka, which is your da, 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 your, your three step. Then you could have a, a waltz or an obetic. Yep. Actually, uh, explain you know precisely the difference between an obetic and, 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 a, and a polka. No different tempo. No, Bedek is uh, the only way I can describe that. So anybody that's not Polish or whatever would, it's a faster tempo of a waltz, mm-hmm. so, basically. So that would be um, uh, an Obedic would be where you one two three. You're one, dancing two, around a, a circle on the dance floor, but you're not whipping and spinning yeah. people around and kicking up your feet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All basically. Right. Yeah, all right. I, I think I might have uh, d- explained that a little bit better than you that time. But that style, once again, is uh, basically, I would say, uh, well, with the Chicago bands, too. But the honky, honky style would be primarily one trumpet, one clarinet. Some Chicago bands uh-huh. had one trumpet, two clarinets. Right. And basically a concertina instead of accordion. Okay, I got you. Yeah, that's a yeah, completely that different sound. Different, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you know, I think you nailed it on that. Yeah. You, you, well, got, well, you, know, you, you, you know a thing or two with your boca. Uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to give it to you. A few things. Yeah. Uh, I, we're going to be hearing from a polka Hall of Famer now, or an, a, a, a new inductee, right? Yes. Tell me about her. Molly B., uh, her dad, um, Jimmy Busta, has a band. Well, I think he still does have a band out towards Minnesota somewhere in that vicinity. And uh, she got married to this Teddy Lang. Teddy Lang also played with various polka bands. I recognize over. that name. Do you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and, this other, and this other kid, Jeremy, who plays with Polish Connection out of Wisconsin, he cut drums on this one. Uh, and this band is known as Squeezebox. Three of them. Mm-hmm. Molly B has a RFD national TV polka show. <laughs> she plays about oh, ten wow. instruments. She was inducted not yet into the Hall of Fame coming up Labor Day. And, and it's a sure thing. And she's uh, kind of cute too, isn't you she? You know, I'm looking at the, uh, the the cover here, and I look at her, and I I don't see somebody being inducted in the Polka Hall of Fame. It looks like somebody I could go out in the street and, and pick up on, on a date. Well, uh, she probably wouldn't date me, but I'd date her. Oh, yeah. Very nice person. Very nice person. She's been to some of the uh, awards. She's won Best Female you know, wow. Vocalist Awards and everything. She's really good. That's, I'm really looking good. forward to hearing her. Very nice. Fantastic. And um, this is their latest one. I, they could be working on another one, but she's going she's gonna to tune... See, I forget who came out with this one. Could be a band from out of Cleveland, but this is on their latest recording. Molly's going to sing it, and it's called, uh, with the Squeezebox band, I've Got a Polish Boyfriend Polka. Hit it.
Support for the community programming of WSKB is provided by the Barnes and Noble College Bookstore in the Ely Campus Center, offering Westfield State t-shirts, sweatshirts, and gift merchandise, all of your academic needs, and offering textbook materials in new, used, ebook, and rental formats. Available at the bookstore on campus or online at westfieldstate.bncollege.com. We thank the generosity of our underwriters. For more information, please contact the Westfield State Foundation at 413-572-8646. Discussions of local politics, events, happenings, and miscellany potpourri. Ken's Den, Tuesday, 8 to 10. Live from the campus of Westfield State University, this is 89.5 FM, WSKB, Westfield. 9.50 in the morning, Billy, that was uh, a morning that went by rather quickly. I know it would. Yeah, I, I knew it would, too. And, and you know, I, I kind of feel a little bad for, for pulling you out early in the morning, ah, no. retired from Chicopee to come out here for two hours. No biggie. Mm-hmm. I'm here. I, I mean, you know. Well, it's nice you had me on because this is you were kind of instrumental in getting the polka show on here. Yeah, you know, if you remember uh, a while, a month before that, I'm like, well, I want to get you live in person because we had a, uh, the, the kid out of Granby, Connecticut coming up here uh, to play polka on Saturday mornings. And, and his health failed, so he stopped and oh. we went for about a, a year without having polka music on Saturday mornings. And you probably remember, I, I tried to recruit you to come up here live, and you're like, well, geez, no, I'm sorry, I'm doing the jammer. Right. And then a few right. months a few months later, the, the light bulb went off above my head. Well, yeah, we've got the technology. I, I, let me stream you. And, and that, that's how all this came to, came to be. And, I, you know, you got me in touch with Todd over at uh, HMP, who yep. engineers uh, this stuff for us, and, and makes sure that you, uh, when you're not on... Um, and he knows the hours that we're streaming the jammer. He makes sure that we get our legal ID in. So, so Todd takes really good care of us when, when it comes to streaming the uh, jammer network here at SKB. Yeah, it sounds like I'm right here. Yeah, yeah, it does. And, and when you're on, you're, I notice you at the pr- appropriate times. You're, you're, you're announcing our, our, our legal for us. Well, I'm trying to get it as close to on the hours I can get it. Yeah. So it slips by me a couple of times. but it, yeah. hey. you, you get it in there eventually, and, yeah. and, and, and it's fine. Yeah. You know, we, well, that's good. That's it, nice. And, and, you know, we, we have hosts here in the morning who completely go, go past their breaks and past their legal. I'm one of the people who's always, you might have watched me uh, throughout the morning, Look at the, con- constantly looking at my clock here. <laughs> And I'm looking at it behind you. And, and normally, I sit right there. I sit where Jennifer sat Over this here? morning. Yeah. Oh. And, and Pete would normally sit here. Oh, okay. Pete produces my show. That way there gives me time to find things on my laptop and, and be a jerk and an idiot. So I'm normally interviewing from that side. Oh, I get you. Uh, so I'm, I'm watching that clock down there, uh, usually. Cool. And, uh, cool. I make sure I call up the clock here. Um, I want to mention uh, one thing to our listeners uh, while I have them... Uh, uh, the Boys and Girls Club of uh, Greater Westfield is uh, still doing their uh, lunch program uh, for the kids here in town. So uh, any child aged 2 through 18, if they need a lunch, they can get a lunch free of charge. Wow. All right. Uh, That's wonderful. It, it's, uh, they've been doing it for several years now. Other Boys and Girls Clubs uh, around the country are doing this. Uh, it's a great program, and, and I mention it every week on my show um, dur- during the summertime, uh, and I also list off the uh, satellite locations where you can get said lunch. Hmm. So, uh, again, that, that's kids aged eight, 2 through 18. If you need a lunch, uh, make sure uh, you stop by to one of the uh, satellite locations, and those would be uh, from 1 o'clock to 1.30 today, Chapman, Chapman Playground. A Colonial Pine Acres uh, would be 11.30 to 12.00. Uh, Powder Mill Village is 12 to 1. Uh, Sadie Knox is uh, 1215 to 1245. Edgewood, 12 to 1230. Uh, Hubbard Street is 12 to 1230. South Middle School, 1230 to 1 o'clock. And on Thursdays only when the uh, farmer's market is going on, uh, down at the Church of the Atonement, 1245 to 130. Uh, Thanks again to the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Westfield, Mass. <sighs> I got by, that out. Went by fast. <laughs> and, and it, it, it flew right by. It, you know, some of us say that WSKB is the fastest two hours in radio you'll ever have. 
Mm-hmm. I, I, I mean, I barely broke a sweat, and, and, and here we are at, at, at the end, and I'm trying to think, Jesus, when's, when's the next time I'm going to get Billy in here? And this is just a tip of the iceberg with polkas. Yeah. You yeah. Know? I, I want to dive into it even further one of these days. Um, yeah, uh, that'd be cool. Yeah, so, so uh, yeah, d- during the summer, you know, the, the kids here uh, at, at, at Western State University are gone. Mm-hmm. So I, I run your entire show here. We, we go. That's nice, yeah, that you picked it up till noon now. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, so 8.30 to 12 uh, every Saturday, we're, we're simulcasting. Actually, we, we start the Jammer Network at 6 a.m. It's 6. Yeah. yeah. So 6 to 12 here in Westfield. Yeah. Nonstop polka. Yeah. Uh, well, nonstop other than the times when, when Billy is, is talking. Um, right. But, which is now and then. But, but it's, when Billy's talking, it's either saying hello to someone, talking about an upcoming concert, yep. or it, 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 it's educational about the music you're going to hear. You, you heard Billy this morning say, okay, well, well, this person played with that band and then that band, and then this person is known for this, and they're known for that. And this was recorded live at this location, and, and, and you get this, this great trivia out uh, regarding all, all this music that you are playing, and, and that's one of the things that makes your show unique, I think. Yeah, well, you, you don't forget what I told you a couple of times is most, I would say most of the shows on the Polka Jammer Network, mm-hmm. you know, we try to do the same thing like you're saying that I do on my show, mm-hmm. and... Uh, because the Polka Jammer Network, just to throw it in, is to preserve and preserve is kind of like the key word to the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Preserve and promote polka music because we are a non for profit. Absolutely. You know, I, I think I might have seen that tag on the website. To, to, yeah, to, to, to that's pres- right. Yes. You're right. And that's what we do. And uh, this is what we do a fundraiser like MUA. I know we got to go out pretty soon. We do a fundraiser like MUA. We used to do that. And that brings funds into the Polka Jammer Network so we can do some of these remotes, like mm-hmm. you just said. Yeah. Which is tremendous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And none of none of us here at SKB are getting paid. You're not getting paid to do nah, it. But no, it none does, of us do. It, it nah. does take a little bit of money to keep the equipment upgraded. All right, to, to, to pay for the internet bill, to pull all this stuff oh, off. Oh, God, they're, they're, is it going up for the software it, itself? Yeah. I, I, I mean, the software to run this station is, is four or $5,000. Well, it's terrible what, what we have to pay. Yeah, it, it, it's specialized commercial software, so... Yeah, and that's why we have our underwriters. Uh, that's right. I'm not, I'm not making a, a dime off of this, but we have to pay for, for a CD player when it goes down or, or something. Uh, 9.57 in the morning. I've got about a minute left. Uh, next week uh, in the studio, I have Dan Paquette uh, co-hosting. We're going to be welcoming, welcoming in the band Southern Rain. We're going to be uh, having live acoustic music played in the that's studio cool. next oh, Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got to have it, huh? Yeah. And then uh, two weeks uh, from today, I have uh, Dan Kanabic and Steve Donnelly coming in um, for uh, all you folks talking smack on uh, social media. I'm going to be opening up the phone lines on Tuesday. It's going to be open line Tuesday. Y'all can call in. Give them a piece of your mind. Just keep it within FCC guidelines. Cool. Billy Bellina, I want to thank you once again for coming in here. Thank you for having me over, Kenny. Right. Uh, what are we going out with? Uh, box on band, family band, eight kids in a family. Uh, Rick Vanecki from Michigan married Alicia Guzevich, part of the Polka family band. All the kids are here. Here's their new recording. Hit it. Oh, 
ćemi ovo razem te i ja Vočno mi špjevame sto lazit će me Polečki ne zaginom gdje pak sam grad Bojak poluki rajom razem špjevame Bojak poluki rajom dok će čuje me Bojak poluki rajom šipko leći čas Zašpjevajom šiške razum Sing that tune for me, take one more time. 